welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Competition Season Zero. And we're down on, we're just kind of scouting out the alien planet right now because I want to get some Zascosium in the restroom. And as long as I don't attack the purple POI from what I read in the rules here on this planet, everything else is pretty much fair game. Um, so I see a whole bunch of POIs over there. My, my radar is just going crazy. So I, I think we need to go down and take a closer look at what's going on down here. See what we can reveal without getting shot. I haven't really found many, uh, enemy POIs on this planet. It's, it's, it's been pretty barren really. I mean, it's been, but this does not look barren okay so let's try revealing one at a time by going directly over top of it or even back a little bit from this one since it's a corner one and then we're going to come straight down so the only the only one that's going to reveal would be the closest one to us and hopefully we don't get shot by anything else okay defense five and that's a red name, that's free game. Okay, wow, there's like seven, seven or eight POIs right around here, wow. Okay, insane. Um, let's do the next one. So we're just gonna move over to the side now and we're just gonna rotate around a bit just so I can get a little bit better view. We're gonna come back over here and we're gonna come straight back down on top of it yeah okay now the only one that will reveal will be the one below us directly below us and that's the only one that potentially would be at range to shoot us now this planet has an insane um, atmospheric density of two so it's like uh, only energy weapons have decent range on this planet. Like, that's why my bullets are 243 current range. It's like, whoa, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I'm looking for a purple name to kind of give me an indication of what I'm up against on the next POI, right? Right? Don't worry, I'm not... Okay, so that's base one. I'm not actually going to be doing anything on this planet uh, POI-wise until next week, until I've finished the Ice Planet mission. So, like I say, I'm just scouting it out. I don't think it's... doesn't say anything in the rules that we're not allowed to come here. It just says... It just says that we can't attack non-mission POIs. That uh, our purple name non-mission POIs. Okay. So let's see what this one reveals for us. Defense two. Okay. Let's try getting the, oh, we got the, that one, okay. And then, oh, getting a little too close. And power station, okay, that wasn't my mission. Wow, so, okay, let's go re try and reveal that, that larger one then. Oops, yeah, that would be tragic if I jumped out right then. Bump the F button. A lot of times I, <laughs> I, I I've contemplated completely, you know, removing that function, but it's it makes it really hard for <laughs> other things. Uh, well, I I have remapped it before, and it doesn't work because I got so used to F. Okay, and the last one, just to get its name. Just to, just to reveal it. And drone port. 
cool. Okay. So, none of those are my mission objectives. They're just fluff, basically. I'll just call the non-mission objectives fluff at this point. <laughs> um, they're good filler if you have the time and if you need the gear. I don't really think I need the gear anymore. I've got all the weapon upgrade kits that I can... and traders sell them anyway. It's just... I've got lots of heavy armor. I've got all the boosts I need. Got all the medical equipment I need, so it's just pretty much ammo. <laughs> and vehicles, so... You know, that's why I'm doing the arrest room Zascosium right now. And what is this? What is this? It's pretty cool looking. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Oh, maybe. It's got the two things there. That's cool. Okay, let's try revealing it. We'll just come in. Swoop and power station. What? It doesn't look like a power station. Huh. Okay. Over to the north. I've got markers lined up for um, exploration, but I've been following my radar a lot, so it's made the exploration all kind of all zigzagged and all over the place. Now, why does it look like I didn't... Okay, so it's just to the north. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is eight POIs. Wow, eight in one area. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Eight. That'd be some crazy crossfire, eh? Going in, attacking one of those. Oh my god. Oh my god. Especially right now with the limited range. I think uh, installing the uh, plasma cannons might be a better option. Got a whole bunch of ammo, too. It's actually not that bad of an idea. Not that bad of an idea, huh. I even looted a couple there already again, so I've got a whole bunch more. Okay. Uh, God. See, now I'm just kind of all over the place. Let's see where the map is. That was crazy. That was really crazy. Okay. I guess we'll just keep going. Where's the markers? They're up over there. Up over behind me. I guess I could fly up to this iron first. Let's see the iron, then we'll circle back and backfill. Uh, God, I really didn't reveal this very well, did I? Okay, well, let's just keep going east then. What I'm looking for is Zascosium. We'll keep uh, following our radar blips. Oh, obviously it's to the northeast here. Come on. Where are you? What are you? An old tower. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna. I'll come get you guys when I find some. 
Huh, this looks cool. What's this? What is this? It's got no drones. Stealth outpost. But it's got big turrets on it. Okay. What's next on the map then? I guess we go. S I should follow those through now. Connect those up. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe continue. Maybe head due south and try and take a big chunk of this out. I mean, I know, yeah, I know, I'm not following my markers, but but that's the way it is. Okay, I'll come get you if, uh, if I find anything. We've got Ziscosium here. I just discovered it. Okay, let's take these guys out. Let's see, 243. That's horrible range. Horrible range. At least the damage isn't reduced. <laughs> that would suck. Okay. Salute these guys. Okay, nice. Wow. Man, we're, we're gaining more ammo and fuel than what we're using. That's fantastic. Oxygen, on the other hand, we're not gaining any, but <laughs> we're up to 14,000 bullets. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Uh, well, I don't really feel like video, making a video of me mining Zascosium. You've seen enough mining this series, I'm sure you don't want to see any more. So, if I, I'm going to mine this out. If anything happens, I'll come grab you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, so that deposit I had 314 ore. Uh, what do we have already? That was actually quite a bit bigger than the than the previous two that added up to 320. Because uh, the previous two were 160 a piece, this one is 314. So almost doubling what we had with that one. So if we get lucky, let's see. So. We're over 600 now, that's good. I guess if we get lucky, the next two will be 300ers and we get another 600 and double what we currently have. That will give us 1200 ore, uh, 2400 in ingots, which is more than, ha I think we'd be able to do it. I, I, I think we could pull it off if we, if we were able to find all the Zascosium, so. I'm going to keep looking. There's a radar blip here of something. I'm not sure. We'll go check that out really quick here. And the visibility is just horrible, of course, you know, because I'm recording. So night vision will be just horrific. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
it's not it's not legal to clear non-lethal weather conditions so uh, you guys are gonna have to just put up with the crap video sorry it's just it's a competition and there's rules but I mean that looked cool <laughs> uh, I, I can't see squat god damn <laughs> I, I can't see uh, man oh man crazy let's just um, gotta stay away from the base Okay. Oh. Is that... There's something else right there, isn't there? Is that like a drone base or something? What is that? It's big. It's very big. It's very, very big. Is it? What is it? What are you? Abandoned reactor. Okay. Well, it's red. So, fluff. It's fluff. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I will come grab you guys if I actually find anything. <laughs> if not, we're going to head back to the base. I mean, it's a pretty short little jaunt back to the base off the planet, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, what I what I should have done and what I should do is go back to the base, get the water generators and bring them back down and get those going. So, yeah, I mean, the 600 ore will really get me on a good start. I mean, come on, come on. Atmospheric density is... I thought it was gravity that makes that makes a vehicle slow, but maybe atmospheric density too. Plus it is 1.2 gravity, yeah. So that doesn't help. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to... Oh, we'll follow the radar. Follow the radar. Okay, I'll come grab you if it's anything good. Okay, we found the crash DSE midsection, which is underwater. Uh, but it's got like CB turrets and thrusters and stuff. I think we need to see if we can salvage anything good off this thing in the way of uh, CV parts. So let's take a look at that. And this, that, I think we'll finish off the episode by, by exploring this thing. So let's get this figure out. Hopefully one of those creatures don't come kill me. Sounds like there's stuff in the water. It's freaky. It's scary. Scary, scary, scary. Alien planet. Uh, I don't even know where the core is. We'll just settle down. Settle into the alien merc. And, okay, nothing's swimming around trying to kill me. Okay. Because, yes, there are critters in the water. I don't know if there's any in the water on this planet, but they do exist in the game now. Little tentacle monsters, so, yeah. Fun times. Come on. Whoa, what in the heck was... Why, what... What happened? Why... Why did I take damage? Why did I take damage? That was weird. Why did I take damage?
That was weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> scaring the crap out of me. Bloody game. Look at that. Gravity generator. Oh yeah, this thing's this thing's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to come down and put charges on the jo doors though. It's probably the only way of getting in, eh? Try and find the core. Looks really sealed, doesn't it? Like we could plop a core in it, fire it up, and like, <laughs> and like live underwater inside of it. Uh, okay, well. I see no other way besides blowing up the doors, because I don't think, yeah, other faction. Oh, it's heavy acid rain. That's what's going on. Uh, that's why when I jumped out for a split second, I took damage. Okay. Um, well, that really sucks. Protected in the water, so I should be okay jumping out. Let's have something to eat. And we'll get a core made here. We'll pick up some. Um, just throw this stuff in here for now. Actually, I'll grab some of this stuff. It might come useful to make a core. that in the that in there okay we got lots of mats let's make a core and do we have yep we got promethium actually I've got uh, do you want to have the smaller fuel packs or did I use them all I might have used them all yeah they used up that's fine so we're gonna do wait I don't have any do I no I don't think so no okay just you never know I could, could have had some and Okay, so let's make let's make a few of these because looks like I'm gonna have some doors to smash down. That's why I love mobile constructors. Okay, I'm gonna come back when these are done cooking. Okay, let's grab our stuff here. Should be cooked. Where's my cursor? What's going on? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's jump out and huh. if the patrol vessel comes, you know, we're completely screwed. This is a huge risk. So Well, let's do it. I Oops, come on. What? Oh, right. The freaking gravity on this planet. I might have to think about this when I assault uh, whatever it is on that planet, on this planet. Okay, so I should be able to swim up onto here and get up. Right? Right? I got water on me. Yeah, so I got plenty of water. I got a bunch of emergency O2, so I'm fine. Okay. Well, let's go down. <sighs> okay. 
Looks like this thing has lots of thrusters. So let's start by blowing up both these doors. I mean, obviously there's not going to be any spawners under the water here. Okay. What do we got here? Let's do the swim thing. So this looks like some sort of lounge area. Okay. Which then go down. Okay. I'm just looking for where the likely place for the core to be first is. Uh, there's the, no, that's not it. That's a sentry. Is it active? No, it's underwater. Of course it's not active. Okay. Um, Sentry there too. Hmm. <clears throat> There's a door which is other faction. Does that just go out to outside? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's not. Let's try digging. Let's try digging. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got down here. Keep my eye on the map for red arrows on the outskirts and red dots on the radar. Always keep got to be hyper vigilant when you're in freaking Iron Man. Well, this could be a little deadly death pit on this CV. It's got at least four turrets all right there. That could be quite deadly, I guess, if you fell through a trap and dropped down into the middle of that. Huh. Not sure how deep I'm supposed to dig. Am I supposed to hit something? Oh yeah, we're getting some railings here. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're getting some We're getting some stuff here now. So that was a pretty good guess. Okay, so I can just jump down there and blow the core and we can place our own core and take a look at what this thing has and start getting the goodies off it. All right, we didn't have to dig too much. So I got lucky there. That was not too bad. I pretty much drilled right over Look at that, like, come on. Is that like the luckiest? Am I getting pretty, I, I'm pushing my luck, I think. I gotta, I can't be pushing my luck here.
Okay. <laughs> Let's go get this thing. Can I get back up? I've gotta. Well, I can I can dig myself, I guess. Yeah, I'll be able to hopefully do this. Well, at least I can shoot it instead of uh No, oh, I didn't even have that loaded. What the hell was that? Huh. Oh, these noises are scaring me. I should actually crank up the ambient a little bit for you guys. It might be a little low, so I'm going to turn it up for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Decord. Plunk our own in. No, we'll stick it in the same spot. Come on. What's going on? Come on. Oh, oh, it's tabbed. There we go. Okay, so now that we have popped the core, let's take a look. See what it's got. Here, let's just group it. We've got nine alien devices. Nine sentry guns on it. Wow. Uh, some ammo. Oh, nice. Cargo box is 11. Okay. Well, let's go through them. Much easier way of looting a vessel like this. Just pop the core in and go into the control panel and take everything. Now, this doesn't give you everything, though. You can't access certain uh, certain items from the control panel that can hold loot. So, you got to be aware of that. It's still a good idea to go and investigate. It's, it's like the personal containers and stuff like that. Like the deco containers, those can have you can't get into those through the control panel, but they can have they can carry stuff and have loot. Okay, come on. Ooh, this could be bad. Okay. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay. Now and come on, come on, yeah, there we go. Just had to get into the water. Be able to swim again. Okay. And. <clears throat> Go get a nice, comfortable spot to sit in. There we go. There we go. Now I feel a little safer. I can go into my cargo boxes from here and just dump my stuff. So is there any, put that in there. Oh, the rest is actually more constructor loot, I would call it. Raw mats that, that a constructor can use. Anything a constructor can use, I throw in the constructor. I don't know, it's just me. Um, we're getting 634, well, not bad, I mean, We're only starting mission mission three, so we're almost ready to start building a uh, a fairly decent combat CV. Hopefully, potentially, I don't know. It'll be this will be a field test for it. So, <laughs> okay, let's come on. There we go. Well, I am going to pretty much strip this thing down. Get all its goodies. Um, 
And I think what I'll do is I'll just meet you guys back at the space base and call it an episode here. This is going to turn out to be a really good loot haul. Not, not to say the abandoned factory wasn't, but this will this will have some CV stuff on it that the abandoned factory didn't have, obviously. Um, you know, like thrusters and stuff like that, yeah. Okay. So I gotta dig a lot here. I'll just reveal everything. I'll go into the control panel and reveal everything. That way, uh, let's see what they got for food here. Let's eat it. Okay. So the great thing about doing the drone thing is I can just easily keep putting stuff away, right? So it's it's great. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's just keep dumping stuff here. I should really just get rid of a bunch of this stuff here. Don't need all of that. fridge <clears throat> okay well guys I'm gonna call the episode here we didn't really you didn't really get to see a lot it was just reveal some I, I didn't actually accomplish what I wanted to and that was find enough Zascosium to feel comfortable enough that we can go back to the base because uh, I'm, I'm I'm limping back I think or I'll stay behind and find those those Ascosium and reveal the rest of the map and find my mission target which is probably not a bad idea since I'm down here that way I can just you know hopefully not die and not have to do that again here. <laughs> uh, well, in any any case, we're going to be going back to Friggle real quick here, and starting to uh, look at ways, smarter ways of maybe assaulting that base. I, on second thought, it's probably not as big as I thought it's going to be, um, so it might not be too bad, but. I don't know. I can't. I've only done it once, like I say, and I, I seem to remember it was fairly large. <clears throat> but I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> and that's what's great about it. I can't remember anything. So every time I do a POI, it's new to me. Okay, guys. Well, until next time, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.